Hey, this video is to show you guys how I attach um, a waistband onto a pair of boxers. And I do it so that the seam is, it's nice and flat. There's no folded fabric. It's a really comfortable, professional looking way to attach a waistband. So I have here a pair of fully constructed boxers, except for the waistband. And I have surged the top edge. That's not necessary, but I find it helpful. Um, and I'm gonna turn them inside out, just like this. And I have my waistband here. This is inch and a half plush elastic. I'll post a link in the description. It's just from Amazon. Um, I buy it in five yard chunks from Amazon. Um, and I take the size I need and overlap it by an inch and just do a zigzag stitch on my regular sewing machine down this side, flip it over and do a zigzag stitch on my regular sewing machine down this side. So it's a nice, pretty smooth, not bulky elastic band. So I need to quarter this band and quarter my boxers. Okay, so I have my boxers quartered with pins. Yes, my elastic quartered with pins. Um, and now I'm gonna attach it with my cover stitch. And you don't have to use a cover stitch. You can use a domestic sewing machine for this. If you don't have a cover stitch, you'll just have to use a stretch stitch. So like a zigzag twin needle or a lot of um, domestic machines have a faux cover stitch. It takes forever, but it's really effective. So you might look at your manual and see if you have that stitch. So I'm gonna move the camera so you can see what I'm doing. Okay, so I like to start in the back. So here's the back of my boxers. I'm just putting it in there to hold it like at my elastic. Get the back of my elastic. Now I have the right side facing up and I'm just laying my elastic on top of that um, surged line. I just want that surged line covered up um, with not too much extra. So I got it just covered up. I'm gonna slide that under my cover stitch, put my presser foot down so it doesn't go anywhere, take the pin out from back there, get it started. I'm just, just covering up that surged line. Now I'm going to look for my next quarter, line up my pins and stretch it just so the elastic is taut, um, but not so the fabric underneath is being stretched. And I'm gonna look under here. I just want my elastic to just cover up that line of stitching. As I get close to my next pins, I'm just gonna take them out, find my next quarter, line it up. Same thing, stretch the elastic. So just the elastic is taut, not the fabric being stretched. And then line up my elastic over that um, surged line. And I check it periodically just to make sure I'm still right on track. Let me get a little closer to see if maybe if you can see it. Okay, take my pins out. Find my next quarter. Line it up. Stretch. I'm just lining this. See that you can see that surge line right there? Just line up right on top. You want to make sure you have your settings on your cover stitch so that they're stretchy. Um, my differential is at 1.3, which I feel like feed it through well and create a stretch stitch. And my stitch length is at three. 
So this is the last section before I get to where I started. I'm just gonna stretch it. Same thing, I'm gonna peek under, make sure I'm lined up just over the stitch line. As I come on to the place where I started, I'm going to clip my origination threads. Line it up. This is where I started. Um, I'm gonna go back over where I started by about an inch. Get my needles in the upright position. I always just use my uh, wrench to pull my threads through. Pull my threads through. Trim. off and bada boom bada bing you got a pair of better than ready to wear underwear you're welcome <laughs>